everybody. I'm uh, Greg Smith. I'm the president of the Atlanta Street Food Coalition. And we are a trade association that represents um, all, all sorts of street food vendors throughout the metro Atlanta area. Uh, we're particularly focused on gourmet food trucks at the moment. We, uh, we got started in January of 2010, and I see, we, we, uh, I see one of our attendees at that meeting back there in the back. Uh, uh, we, uh, we had about six folks at that first meeting. Uh, there was one truck that was represented at the meeting, and since then we've grown to, uh, to over 40 uh, that, that are operating in the Atlanta area. Uh, so we've had a pretty, uh, pretty, pretty strong growth rate in, in the city, uh, obviously not as big as some of the other cities around the country, and I'll, I'll get into that in a little bit. Um, but uh, we, we, we all were pretty much inspired by this guy right here. This is uh, Kogi Barbecue out in L.A., and uh, I'm not sure how many folks are familiar with them, but they do uh, this delicious mashup of Southwestern tacos, burritos, quesadillas, and Korean barbecue. And um, they weren't the first folks to uh, bring a food truck out or to do mobile food. They weren't the first folks to do an uh, Asian uh, Southwestern fusion menu. Um, but they... Uh, there, there was just something about maybe it was maybe it was the the, the year that they got started maybe it was uh, uh, the way that they marshaled followers on the internet um, but but there was there was something about uh, Kogi that really caught everybody's attention um, they uh, they were featured in the New York Times they, they they really they were featured in all sorts of national media um, and and they were the first food truck that I really became familiar with, and I actually traveled out to LA to, to, to see what they were doing. And I know that quite a few other folks uh, that, are, that are now involved in the Atlanta scene, they, they did the same thing. Um, so, so they kicked off this whole wave of these kind of interesting, uh, creative food trucks that, that were popping up around the country. Um, a lot of them had these weird designs, weird concepts. Uh, <laughs> They, uh, they all tend to feature bright colors and, um, and, and interesting menus. Um, I think one really important thing that, that a lot of the food truck operators are trying to do is focus on one key menu item that they're, that they're really, really good at, uh, you know, be it a, a grilled cheese sandwich or, or, or tacos or, or, or something along those lines. Um, so, so these are just... These are, <laughs> these are, these are some of the uh, <laughs> these are some of the trucks around the country that, that you'll see, and 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 as I said, there, there's this common thread. They're all uh, they're all kind of offbeat. Um, a lot of the operators are taking chances with the food trucks that they wouldn't necessarily take with a restaurant because uh, the capital investment up front is not as uh, not as hefty, and um, it's it's not as difficult for them to uh, to maybe change their model, change their concept if things don't work out. Um, so, uh, you, you can see here, the, uh, the UN has, uh, has stated that two and a half billion people eat street food every day. Uh, and I'd say the U.S. makes up a really small portion of that. But uh, um, this, the, the food truck thing has really caught on around the country, and, and uh, so street food really seems to be thriving in the U.S. Uh, for two years in a row, uh, food trucks have been listed as one of the, the fastest growing food service concepts in the country by the National Restaurant Association. Um, I, one, of the, one of the important things that I see happening is ancillary businesses that are popping up to support the food trucks. So you're seeing specialized manufacturers of food trucks and food trailers. You're seeing mobile applications for smartphones for paying, uh, uh, making payment at a food truck or, or ordering uh, from a food truck. You're seeing kitchen commissaries pop up that can serve as the base of operation for food trucks. Um, and, and so I, I honestly feel like this is something that's, that's here to stay. The, the infrastructure is developing and, uh, and, and, and the public really seems to be getting behind this. Um, LA and Austin, Portland are, are leading the charge. Uh, in LA, it's, it's been said that there are 4,000 food trucks operating out there. Now, not, not all of those are the Kogi style truck. Uh, some of them are just your basic lunch truck that, 
the Roach coach that, that folks are familiar with. Um, but, uh, but there's a huge number of trucks in LA. Austin also, I don't know how many folks have been to Austin, but it's astonishing for a city of its size. I think there are maybe a million, million and a half people in Austin. Uh, there, there must be a food truck for every person in that city. It's, it's amazing. Um, and, uh, and Portland also is, is, a, is a key epicenter for, for the, the street food movement. There, a lot of the folks there are operating out of carts and trailers. Um, but there are 700 licensed street food vendors there in Portland. Um, so given all these good feelings that are happening around the country with food trucks, street food vendors, um, uh, people ask me all the time, what's wrong with Atlanta? Why doesn't Atlanta have a more robust uh, food truck scene? And um, I think, first of all, there's, there's not a, there, there hasn't been a street food culture in Atlanta that, that folks are building off of. Um, there's not been taco trucks, there's not been uh, a lot of hot dog vendors, there's not been this sort of base that, that you see in other parts of the country. Um, but aside from that, the, uh, the rules and regulations that the vendors have to deal with are, are really tough. Um, it's not necessarily anybody's fault, it's not the city's fault, it's not the health department's fault, uh, it's not like there's one bad guy out there that's trying to keep food trucks down, um, but the uh, just the way that the system is set up, it's very difficult for a mobile vendor to get out and operating. Um, and really, the biggest problem that I can see is that Atlanta is broken up into 25 separate counties and over 70 municipalities. Um, so if, if, you're a, if, if you're a prospective food truck vendor, um, you're having to pull a health permit from every county that, we, that you want to operate in, and you're having to pull a business license from every city that you want to operate in. If you want to be truly mobile and go from one side of Atlanta to the other, you're talking about as many as 10, 12, 15 permits. So it's quite a lot for somebody who is trying to start a small business. They're maybe trying to bootstrap, maybe trying to uh, uh, start a business that they expected was going to be low capital. And, um, and, and here they are. They're having to sink 10 grand into getting a permit, getting their suite of permits, and they're hi having to hire uh, an attorney to, to uh, help them figure out which permit is necessary for which location. So, um, so we, as the Street Food Coalition, we've had to sort of accept that um, the, the, the way that the city is set up, the, and I'm, I'm speaking generally about the metro area, the way that it's set up, uh, it's too complicated for uh, us to have 4,000 food trucks in Atlanta. Uh, it's just not going to happen. Um, but what we will get is, uh, is, is quality over quantity. And I think we're seeing that now. This is, uh, this is a shot from Street Food Thursday when it was held at the Woodruff Arts Center last summer. And we've got two people here in the audience that we can thank for that. Uh, Tucker Berta and Jay Tribby were, were a huge part of that. Um, and they, uh, we, we, we have seen 1,500 people every week coming out uh, to our food truck event uh, in Midtown. Uh, it's, it's a lunchtime event, so folks are coming out of their offices, they're coming down, they're having lunch, and, uh, and they're participating in their, in their community. And um, uh, the exciting thing to me is that you're seeing um, a lot of interesting, creative, ambitious menus out there. You're seeing folks that are uh, bringing food items that you wouldn't see otherwise in the city of Atlanta. Um, I'm going to flip through real quick here. Uh, my time is up, so I'm going to flip through real quick. Uh, just show you some of the shots. This is 12th and, and Peachtree Street, where we now hold our Street Food Thursday events. Um, and as you can see, uh, folks are willing to stand in line, uh, stand outside in the spring, and, and, and be with the community uh, while they wait for, for their street food. This is a shot of uh, Councilmember Kwanzaa Hall uh, uh, enjoying street food. So, uh, so thank you. That, that's, that's what I've got. Uh, Y'all have a good day. <laughs>